हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम टू मिस्टर वाइवो भोसले प्रेजेंट नर्सिंग ज्ञान और आज के इस वीडियो में हम देखने वाले हैं ट्वेंटी इंपॉर्टेंट एम अबाउट प्लासेंटा एंड इट्स एबनॉर्मलिटीज इट इज मैटरनल हेल्थ नर्सिंग टॉपिक सो डू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल लास्ट लेट स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वॉट इज द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ प्लासेंटा ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी ऑप्शन आर प्रोड्यूस ब्रेस्ट मिल्क supply oxygen and nutrients to fetus protect the uterus from infection and contract to help in delivery and the correct answer is option b supplies oxygen and nutrients to the fetus uh, the placenta act as a bridge between the mother and fetus and supplying oxygen and nutrients while removing the waste product so the correct answer is option b moving towards the second question Which hormone is primarily produced by placenta to maintain the pregnancy? Options are estrogen, progesterone, human chorionic gonadotropin hormone (HCG), and oxytocin. And the correct answer is HCG. Option C. HCG helps to maintain the corpus luteum, which produces the progesterone, and which is necessary for sustaining the pregnancy. So the correct answer is option C. HCG hormone. is uh, produced by placenta to maintain the pregnancy moving towards the next question question number 3 is what is the condition where the placenta is abnormally attached deep into the uterine wall options placenta previa placenta accreta placental abruption and placental infarction and so correct answer is option b placenta accreta Uh, it occurs when the placenta attaches too deeply into the uterine wall which can lead to the complications during pregnancy so the correct answer is option b placenta accreta it means placenta is abnormally attached deep into the uterine wall next question which abnormality occurs when the placenta covers the cervix partially or completely option placental abruption placenta previa placenta accreta and chorioamnionitis and the correct answer is placenta previa option b placenta previa occurs when placenta covers the cervix leading to bleeding risk and complications during the labor so placenta previa it means placenta covers the cervix partially or completely so option b is correct What is the major symptom of placenta previa? Options: severe abdominal pain, painless vaginal bleeding, high blood pressure, and excessive fetal movement. And the correct answer is option B: painless vaginal bleeding is a major symptom of placenta previa. And painless vaginal bleeding occurs in the second or third trimester. So the correct answer is option B. Question number six: Which condition involves the premature separation of placenta from the uterine wall? Options: placental abruption, placenta previa, placenta accreta, and ectopic pregnancy. And the correct answer is placental abruption. Placental abruption occurs when the placenta detaches before delivery, leading to bleeding and fetal distress. So placental abruption means premature separation of placenta. from uterine wall so option a is correct moving towards the next question question number 7 what is the major risk factor for placenta previa option smoking multiple pregnancies previous c section and all of the above and the correct answer is all of the above smoking multiple pregnancies prior c section uh, it increases the risk of placenta previa so the correct answer is option d next question is which diagnostic tool is most commonly used to detect the placenta previa options are mri ultrasound x-ray and ct scan and the correct answer is ultrasound it is safest and most effective method to diagnose the placenta previa or any other condition during pregnancy so the option b ultrasound is correct question number 9 what is the major complication of placental abruption options are postpartum hemorrhage 
fetal distress preterm birth and all of the above and the correct answer is all of the above placental abruption can cause the severe maternal bleeding it may cause fetal distress and preterm delivery so the correct answer is option d and the next question is what is the primary treatment for placenta previa at term options are normal vaginal delivery immediate cesarean section induced labor and bed rest until labor begins and the correct answer is immediate cesarean section option b because c section is necessary to prevent the complications due to the placenta blocking the birth canal so the correct answer is cesarean section question number 11 which maternal condition is associated with the placental abruption options are hypertension diabetes hypothyroidism and epilepsy and the correct answer is hypertension option a high blood pressure increases the risk of placental abruption due to the poor blood supply so the correct answer is option a and the next question what is the placenta increta option placenta that does not implant properly placenta that invades the uterine muscle placenta that grows outside the uterus and placenta that fail to detach after birth and the correct answer is option b placenta that invades the uterine muscle is called as placenta increta placenta increta it is severe form of placenta accreta where placenta grows into the uterine muscle so the correct answer is option b which placental abnormality has the highest risk of postpartum hemorrhage options are placenta previa placenta accreta placental abruption and none of the above and the correct answer is placenta accreta option b because placenta accreta often requires the surgical removal and increasing the risk of heavy bleeding so uh, placenta accreta has a highest risk of postpartum hemorrhage so option b is correct moving towards the next question question number 14 what is the vasa previa options are a type of placental abruption when fetal blood vessel run across the cervix a twin pregnancy complication and an infection of placenta and the correct answer is when fetal blood vessel run across the cervix this condition is called as vasa previa vasa previa it is dangerous condition where fetal blood vessel lies near the cervix risking the rupture of membrane so the correct answer is option b the next question is what is the best management for placenta accreta diagnosed before delivery options are normal vaginal delivery c section with the possible hysterectomy immediate labor induction bed rest and iron supplement and the correct answer is option b c section with the possible hysterectomy in severe cases placenta accreta may require a hysterectomy to control the bleeding so the correct answer is option b c section is necessary during the placenta accreta question number 16 which of the following is a sign of retained placenta after delivery options are heavy bleeding severe cramping fever and all of the above the correct answer is all of the above a retained placenta can lead to infection and excessive bleeding if not removed properly so the correct answer is option d question number 17 what is the best way to prevent the placenta previa options are avoid smoking and substance abuse regular prenatal care avoid multiple c section and all of the above and the correct answer is all of the above preventing risk factor like smoking regular care avoid multiple c section can reduce the likelihood of placenta previa so the correct answer is option d question number 18 which condition occurs when the placenta fail to develop properly and leads to fetal growth restriction options are placental insufficiency placenta previa placenta accreta 
and amniotic band sim syndrome and the correct answer is option a placental insufficiency placental insufficiency it reduces the oxygen and nutrients to the fetus causing the fetal growth restriction and growth problems so the correct answer is option a question number 19 what is the safest position for a mother with the placenta previa option sitting upright left lateral supine and right lateral and the correct answer is left lateral position this position improves the blood circulation and reduces the pressure on the placenta so the left lateral position is safe with the placenta previa moving towards the last question which condition is life threatening emergency requiring the medi immediate delivery options are placental abruption placenta previa vasa previa and all of the above and the correct answer is all of the above this all condition can cause the severe bleeding and requiring the urgent medical intervention and attention so in placental abruption placenta previa vasa previa these are life threatening emergency condition which requires immediate care and immediate delivery so here we completed the 20 mcqs i hope uh, this video is useful for you and thank you so much for watching this video do like share this video and subscribe to our channel mr vibhav bhosle present nursing gang thank you so much once again